Hello friends. So today we are going to see how to set up whole email automation flow using a famous tool and a ten. So let's get started. So first go to the tools website. You can find the tools link in the description. So once you are there, you can sign up using your Google account. Once you sign up, you will reach the dashboard. This is called as a playground, which is the area where you can set up your entire flow. The plus icon on the right side open the menu with different items and trigger. On the left side, there are multiple other options. So let's start with our flow. The first thing you have to do before starting to create any automation flow is to map it. So how are you gonna map it? Let's see. So I created mine. So here you can see we are going to use Google Sheet as our lead source. Then we are going to check whether each of those leads. Are having emails or no? If they do not have email, we are not going to do anything. If they have emails, we are sending them to email checkers to verify whether emails are good or not. If the emails are not good, we are going to do nothing. And if they are verified and good emails, we are using that to send our email. After sending the emails, we are updating our Google Sheet with a send. So next time when the flow again runs, it not sending the same person the email. Our trigger is 9 a.m. every day. So now let's apply the same flow to our N8N. So once you are on the dashboard, you can see the tool provide 14 days free trial. So we are going to use the cloud version, which is less technical and easy to apply. There is also a free and community version, but that is more technical. This is not that expensive, so we are going to use the cloud version. So we'll start with Google Sheet. That's our source of leads. So click on plus sign and type the Google Sheet. Then click on it and you will see triggers and actions. Click on actions. So I already have my Google Sheets with all the leads. So I just want to get the rows. So I'll click here, get row in the seats. So now Google Sheet node is open. The first input box says connect with your Google account. So let's do it. Click on Google account or OAuth2 API. If you want to connect with a new account, click create new. After clicking create new credential and then click on sign in with Google. After connecting, you can see the account is connected and it show it here. Then the next step shows asking us to select from the seat. Next is our operation is to get rows from the seat. So select that one. Then you can see all of your Google Sheets are listed. Select the one with your leads. Then it will show all the tab in that seats. I have only one tab in that seat, seat one. So this is what we are, I'm going to select. So now everything is selected and our Google Sheet is connected with the right seats and the tab. To verify the data, click execute step. Meanwhile, while it connects, let's check what is our next step. So in the doc, we can see the next step is we have to check whether email is available or not. So now here in Excel, we can see all the data are in the output field. That means the seat is properly connected and we got all our data. Let's go back to canvas. Now our next step is to check if each of those leads have an email or not. So we are going to connect an if node. So go to the plus sign and type if. And you can see the first option with if node. Select it. And uh, so it's asking me to wire up the initial step. So I'll go back to canvas and connect my Excel with this if node. After doing it, again click on if node. And then you can see all your data from the previous Excel is available. So here we can filter the data. So now in the first field, let's drag and drop the email field. In the second one, select the string and if it is empty. So execute the step and we can see how many leads don't have emails. So we found two leads without email. So this is working. So now let's go back to the, our canvas. We got two items without emails and six items with emails. So as per our flow, we decided if there are no emails available, then we do nothing. So let's connect 
our two emails branch with do nothing node. So go back to canvas, click on plus icon and search for do nothing. You will find the first option. Select it and connect with your flow. Basically, this branch is going to do nothing. Next step, before sending the emails, we want to check whether the emails are valid or not. So for that, we are going to use Hunter. I have already an account with Hunter and API keys. So I found my Hunter API's keys. So I copied it because it has the entire string with the HTTPs. I'm putting it here and copying only the last part, which is the API keys. Basically, it, it looks like it has all the numbers. So I copied it and pasted into my API keys box. And then I'll execute the step with, to check whether it is working or not. So I got all the emails with deliverables good. That means my Hunter API is also working and all of those six emails are good. Okay, so now let's again connect with the if nodes. So if emails are not good and not deliverables, then I will connect it uh, with do nothing nodes. And if they are good, we are connecting with the send email. So in if node, select the JSON result that is coming from our previous node and then click on contain and select the fix as the output and type down the deliverables so if the result is deliverables it's going to be true if it is not then it is it will be a false so I execute it and we can see we got the result now we are going to have two things if all of them are deliverables we'll send it otherwise do nothing the last and important part of our operation is sending the emails so let's do it now so click on the plus icon and select the send email and search for send email click on the the node you find first okay so i already connected with my smtp account you just need to add your username your password your host then the port and uh, always keep the ssl on and if required the client host name so i know that is little bit you know uh, research so if you are not able to find a email provider and their data then i created a doc entirely for you where i put all the famous 20 email providers all the data so just let me know in the comment and i'll send it over to you so you can use that doc as well and add all the data here now once you are at all all of them just click on try if it is good it says uh, successful and then click your selected email account now I want to send all of them using one email so I'll just type it down here if you want to send them separately then you can also add them into your Excel or Google Sheet and drag and drop that field into this input box this time I'll keep it simple and I'll using only one email and uh, sending to all the different emails of the specific tools now next thing is I'll select my subject line which is testing the workflow looks good the next step is to add the body part you can choose either text HTML or both so I'll use text then I'll write it down hi then I drag and drop the tool name as my field so it's gonna look like this then I'm gonna add my body message which is confirming the successful email received that's my text simple straightforward you can add any additional text or component in between now let's execute the step we have six emails so let's send them and it says we got all the six emails so now last step is to update our google sheet come back Click on plus signs and search for edit field. Wire it up with your sending email previous node. After wiring up, if you come back, you see now all the data you can see on your input box on your left side. Now we are going to select the manual mapping. Use the accepted field, which indicates OK. That looks good. So I will already send the email. So I'll just put 
to send as the text as a message and then execute the step so we got the output it, it looks good so now the next step is to connect this node to our google sheet so you can get our google sheet from this plus icon on the right side or you can just go to our previous node and duplicate our google sheet from there now we already connected with our real google sheets we just want to update our row so let's select all the right input box the document is called called leads which is correct from sheet one it's also correct we match them on tool, tool name so just drag and drop and what we want is to update the email signed field with the send now everything looks good so we add the full name here and that's it it looks all set so click on execute and check if whether it is working or not okay so it's also working good now everything looks good and we followed all the steps only one thing left which is the triggering part so let's do it quickly so right now it's a manual trigger so we again go on the right side and on the plus sign and click on trigger you can find the schedule trigger as the node click on it and then set up the time as 9 am i'm going to rename my node as my trigger 9 am and you can also put the minutes as zero as it is and that's it now come back to our canvas remove the old one with the connect with the real one here so now my entire flow looks good and now it's gonna run every day at 9 a.m so let's quickly go and check whether i received a mail or not so i go to my emails and uh, okay so you can see email id i put and received all the email with the same subject line hi with the tool name one tool name two tool three etc this is my text body and it all worked properly so that's the entire flow so if you also found it useful make sure you hit that like button subscribe my channel and let me know what other kind of automation workflow you want to set up for your business see you in the next one